yeah, I'm finally now getting to see some of the finished stuff with the ADR and I'm like, oh, that's what the other characters sound like. That's cool. <laughs>hundred percent. Oh yeah. Honestly, I think the first How to Train Your Dragon movie is probably my favorite animated film ever. Uh, I was like definitely the perfect like pocket age when that came out. I think I was, I want to say maybe in the like 12-ish years old range. And it was like that perfect mixture of action and dragons. And I've always been a big fan of, a big fan of dragons, obviously, like as a kid. I think me and my brothers watched like dragon tales and all this stuff. And like my favorite mythical creature, of course, was a big dragon that could breathe fire. So it was just like the perfect time in uh, 12 year old me to dive into something like that. And I think, yeah, I think I've always been such a huge fan. So it's just, it's cool in animation and voiceover to get to be a part of something that like you were a fan of for a long time. And I think like in terms of the different animation worlds that you can possibly dive into as, a, as an actor, this is definitely <laughs> like the top tier uh, that you could hope to be a part of. So that's, uh, it's been pretty cool. So I first got just the breakdown. It had like a very kind of early character art concept of what Tom looked like. Um, and at first I didn't really know what it was because, you know, everything prior to this in the Dragon World has been like Viking Age, way back when. So I saw this kid with this like kind of jacket and cool shoes and like very modern, cool haircut. And I was like, what is this? It's like dragons, but it's not. And then as I kind of dove into the script, I think I just sent in my first voiceover from home. Um, so probably just went into my closet and recorded it because I didn't have a studio at that point. And I didn't hear back on it for like a long time. I think it was literally six months after I sent in my first audition. I had just assumed that they had made that show and that someone else was cast. Like, I didn't even think anything of it. Like six months later, out of nowhere, they're like, oh yeah, they want you to do like a network test with the executive producers and everything for Dragons. And I was like, really? <laughs> I think it was right during uh, quarantine and everything. And so I think it, it just kind of got backed up for a while. But in my head, I was like, oh, that, that thing's long gone. So I went in and I met with them over over Zoom and we just kind of went through a few of the scenes together with the showrunners and had a blast with it. It's, it's especially one of those things that as an audition is really fun because most of my audition scenes were the scenes with thunder were the scenes with my dragon and so there's like no one that i'm really playing off of it's just me talking to nothing basically anyway uh and so it was just fun that i got to like improv and riff around with it and then after that i think it was probably like a week or two after that they were like yeah you're the guy and i was like so stoked that was like the the best christmas christmas gift ever because it was i think it was like right before christmas so It's fun. I mean, it's so interesting because I've done both for a long time, but this is actually the first show that I've literally not recorded with another actor on the show. Like I've completely, everything has been completely by myself, except for one record very recently, which we did over Zoom uh, with uh, Julia who plays my mom. But that that was like, we've been recording for well over a year. That's the first time I've actually like recorded with someone. Like everything's been by myself. It's just been with the producers and like, it's been such a kind of, isolated thing, which in some ways is kind of fun because so many of the scenes are with the dragon anyway. So it's just like, it kind of works, but yeah, I'm finally now getting to see some of the finished stuff with the ADR and I'm like, oh, that's what the other characters sound like. That's cool. <laughs> in ADR, we have like this like claymation animation phase where it looks like the most rough version possible. And then somehow it goes from that to like what it looks like when it's finished. And I don't even like, I don't know how that happens. It's like someone just turns on a switch and it's like, make look awesome switch. And it just suddenly <laughs> looks gorgeous.